Hi guys, welcome to this really exciting watercolour workshop. This is a place called Asprey, which is uh, local to where I live and it's from my own reference photo which was taken on a glorious sunny day and I've turned the actual beautiful cottage into this really chocolate box winter painting. This painting has been created using only three colours and of course the white of the paper and you can see we can get such a beautiful array of tones. As always with the uh, PDF that comes with this video tutorial you'll get my original painting, you'll get the original photographic reference and of course the complete traced outline for you to download and begin painting along with me. I really think you're going to like this one. So I'm going to make sure I've got some of this orange pretty much all over before I then work into this blue tone and we'll get a little hint of that going as well. And these colours will all just sort of merge and marry into each other. And again I'm changing the flavour up a little, sometimes it's a little bit more blue and of course Orange and blue are also complementary colours, so you will also get some graying effect taking place naturally as well. So I'm just going to work away across the top part of the house. This is where the house is going to be at its lightest. Again, taking your time to get a nice neat edge. So as one area is drying, you're able then to move to another area, staying away from the area that's still a little bit wet. So we're going to put the walls in place now, but we want the sunlit side to be in orange and the shaded side to be in blue and that gives us this warm and cool effect, but it should still read as white. Again, do this in sections if it's easier. I'm avoiding the windows, but I'm not actually worrying about going over the wood panelling. And then this darker grey mixture and we can start to get some of the darker tones on the roof going right over that shadow and I'm quite loose with this, I'm not getting too stressed that everything's lining up perfectly. I really just want a feel rather than trying to sit there with a ruler and make these absolutely perfect. A few little suggestions of bricks, again I'm keeping them quite suggestive, very watery and we'll just start to block in the detail on this window. So now moving on to the wood panelling and this door. Again, we'll block in. So no real details at this point. The door's actually a little bit easier to do in stages so that you don't lose where you are with it. I'm going to do the details around this window as well. Again, while that's a little damp, I'll jump over to another section. And this is very much like the windows above. So again, I'm going to continue with the rest of this wooden panelling, just adding that shading to give it that 3D effect. And of course, at this point, you can maybe darken while you've got that colour on some of the eaves. So a little bits of blue, again just kind of thinking of the canopy of a tree, keeping it very, very loose, patting that on there, very, very dark, almost black in those areas. And then of course, because that's wet, I can just feather that outwards. Moving on now to do the other trees. Again, I'm staying with the same colours. So I'm gonna go with the burnt umber orange mixture for the sunlit side and a lot darker, really strong dark, get the other side. Now, I don't wanna just have them half and half, so dance those colors into each other. And we can really get some dark foliage effects and a nice flicky, dancy stroke, especially on those outside edges. You can have a few things trailing across the doorway. So I'm going to get some of these branches in now, using a grey, I want to keep these in the distance so definitely don't want to make these too heavy in terms of colour. Again, just getting some skinny 
tree limbs in there and we'll get a wash on this wall and then we can come back and add some dark details in around that as well and you can use this to help pull the details away from that background. It can also be done while it's dry as well and you'll get a slightly sharper outline if that's what you want. So I'm just going to very lightly now go over and make sure I've picked up all the little bits and we can really start to bring this paint into a conclusion. Really hone in on those little details. I still want them to look white so I'm just going to put a little hint of a shadow and then you can always go back and just soften into the snow so it looks like part of the soft snow. These are all the little things that you can do to kind of finish this off. The danger is enjoying it that much you don't want to stop and I'm in danger of doing what I've just said not to do and over fiddling. I'm having that great a time and it is so enjoyable to produce a painting like this and I'm going to call that a finished painting.